Well, just two months before the new season tips off, the UD women's basketball team is suddenly without a head coach. After 13 seasons, Jim Jaber is stepping down. Two News reporter Kelly King takes us to campus for reaction. Jim Jaber cites personal reasons for resigning. He says this was the best job he's ever had, but he's physically and emotionally exhausted and wants to take care of his family and personal health. His legacy is going to stay here for a long time. The hardwood won't be the same this basketball season. While the crowd and fanfare will be there, the Dayton women's flyers will be hitting the court without their head coach. Rumblings of Jim Jaber's resignation echoed throughout campus Wednesday. Whatever issues he has, I mean, I hope he figures it out, but I mean, we'll miss him. I think it's amazing, 13 years and just resigning for personal reasons. I'm sure it wasn't an easy call on his part. In a statement, Jaber says he's given everything he had to the program. Head football coach Rick Chamberlain says he should be proud. He came in a, into Dayton in a very tough situation. Our women's basketball was not very good. And the way he built that program through his mentoring, through his recruiting, through his basketball knowledge, being an alum here at Dayton, I was very proud of what Jim did for our women's basketball program. As a coach, he says he understands Jaber's reasons for stepping down. Being the head coach, it's not just about in our profession, X's and O's. There's so many other things that you got to deal with that it can wear on you. But like many Flyers fans, he says he will be missed. He made a big impact on the basketball program. We're going to miss him for sure. Women's basketball has always done really well, and so, I mean, he's obviously a great coach. Mike Kelly, associate VP for athletics, will oversee the team while they're looking for a new head coach. Jack Pohl will have more in two sports on Jaber's departure. Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.